I wanted to share with everybody what kit I've been carrying the last month to month and a half out here in the woods with me. I just tried to simplify it for the summer months, something a little bit lighter, something that if I'm having a class and I need a little bit of extra gear for the specific class that I'm hosting, I could just stick it right inside this bag. So the bag itself that I've been using, which I really, really like, is a Frost River Timber Cruiser Junior Pack. It's just a large bucket style pack with two pockets on each side of it. It just, it works really, really well. It's like the perfect size for me, I like it. So let's just take a quick look at what I have inside the main compartment. Now in no specific order, we'll pull this equipment out that I have. Of course, you, you need coffee, you gotta have your coffee bag with you, so this is just ground coffee in this bag. In here is a folding skillet. I'm gonna give you a good tip with skillets, even bush pots. Carry them in a bag, then in a the field, you don't have to worry about having them super clean. So you pull this out, you can see it's all sooty and dirty in the back, but it's fine on this side. So I have this folding skillet inside a bag to cook steak, bacon, whatever meat I choose to carry with me. And then for the summertime, I carry a half of a towel. So just a regular bathroom towel. I cut it in half, it's a good size, because I find a lot that it is, if it's very, very hot out, I might go in a creek or a stream or even my pond just to cool off and wash off so I have something to dry off with. This can also double up as a pillow. To go along with washing up, I have my hygiene kit that we talked about in other videos. Full stick of deodorant so I don't stink everybody out of camp. And I make sure that I'm carrying some of my bug dope along with me in that kit for the summer. Next I'll carry a small, this is just a copper flask, carry a little bit of whiskey in there so if I want to drink I have it along with me. My trapper's hatchet and I might flip this out for another style axe but normally this is what goes with me. Now I make sure I have some type of tarp and some type of hammock with me. I love to hammock camp in the summer months. It's just so much cooler and more relaxing. I'm up off the ground. So this is an Eno hammock along with the straps to tie it off to the tree. And then I've had so many students come through the school that they have had a Silni tarp. So I switched over to Silni. You know I love oil skin and heavy duty stuff. But I thought I'm gonna give this Silni tarp a chance for the summer and I do like it. It works out really good. It's lightweight, very packable, so it minimized my kit even more. Next is a zip up hoodie. So just a normal hoodie. I think this is Fruit of the Loom, buy them at Walmart. These things are absolutely great for putting on at night before you go to bed. It's just an extra layer to keep yourself warm. You could throw the hood up if you wanna keep your head covered. Works really, really well. If you don't need it, use it as a pillow. Now this might be a little bit of a shocker to some people. So this is just a big painter's drop cloth and this is what I use during the summer as a blanket. You might be thinking, why am I not carrying a wool blanket? So the temperature right now is in the high 80s, low 90s. Last week it was 100 degrees here in Pennsylvania. There was no reason at all to have a wool blanket for short trips, specifically overnight. So you hang out in your hammock. I use this just to cover myself. I'm a guy that I just like to cover over me at night. I don't like sleeping without anything. So this works really, really well for that. Super cheap, it's just lightweight, it's easy to pack and I don't have to worry about it. So I do carry this most of the summer months. If I know it's gonna be cold, I'll throw a light wool blanket in, but this thing has served me really, really well for the last two years. And then the last thing in the main compartment is just a big Frost River accessory bag. And if I open that up, I just have a couple items in there that just help me get through. So I have a strop for my knife. I usually touch up my knife every evening in camp. I have a spoon, just a carved wooden spoon my headlamp, a candle lantern, a torch or a uh, butane lighter, and then just a heavy duty set of pliers. And that's what's in the main part of my bag. In the side compartments of my bag, I put things that I just might have to grab quick. I try to keep some extra room in here in case I have extra items that I wanna stick in there while I'm out walking around. Folding saw, I find that using a saw in the summertime is a huge advantage, so I carry a folding saw. Sometimes I'll switch to brand out, but normally I have that Baco one with me. And then my wooden cup, in case I wanna have a drink anywhere. On the other side is just my stainless steel cold cracker water bottle. So I have that I can boil in, or I could just pack a little bit of water along with me. 
Now along with that, you can't go anywhere without a haversack. You, that's like you gotta have it. You know, when we do our scouts outside of camp, we don't have to carry our big backpack. Just grab our haversack. And in this, I have some different size bank line. And then I have my regular fire kit. So this is fair rod lighters. Um, I have some fat wood in there, a sewing kit and all, and the Gossman survival tool that I just did a video on not too long ago. So I have all that stuff in there. And uh, this just stays with me all the time. So this is it. It might seem like a lot of gear, but it's really not that heavy. There's still a ton of room in that Frost River backpack. So it works out really, really well. So I hope you enjoyed this. I wanted to share what I've been carrying with me for the summer. And then when winter comes or fall, we'll change it up and put some new gear out. So this was Dan Wolak with Coal Cracker Bushcraft. Check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods.